chapter 1 quadratic functions and equations in one variable so today we continue on finding roots of uh, quadratic equations and the previous lesson you learned about how to factorize but the main goal of this is we want to find the roots okay so the root is the value of x okay so let's see the first question solve the following by using factorization okay so using factorization you will have two bracket and then to solve you will need to find what is the value of x okay so x squared minus 4x equals 0 and then the front part you can make it two bracket like this right and then equals 0 you just write there and then you get rid of this bracket become x and in the bracket x minus 4 equal 0 okay so now we can solve for the x okay these two things the first thing and the second thing if they multiply together they become 0 so the possibility is this thing is 0 or this thing is 0 okay because 0 time anything becomes 0 or anything time 0 also becomes 0 so in this case uh, x x minus 4 equals 0 so we have two possibilities the first possibility is x equal to 0 which means the first part equal to 0 or the second part equal to 0 okay so this part is soft x equal to 0 the second part x minus 4 is 0 so minus 4 we can bring it to that side minus 4 become positive 4 so we have two answers two roots okay the first root is 0 second root is 4 so this is a this is the uh, answer for question a for question b x squared plus 2x equals to 0 the front part you factorize like usual you make it two bracket and then equals 0 you just write that equals 0 and then you get rid of the bracket equal 0 okay the next step is the first part equal to 0 and then the second part equal to 0 okay and then you bring this part to here x equal negative 2 so you have two roots for this case x equal 0 and then x equal minus 2 and then the same same step for this equals 0 equals 0 and then the front part equals 0 second part equals 0 and then you solve for this okay 5 times x so the relation is times so if you bring it there it become divide 0 divide 5 is 0 so x is 0 and then for this you move plus 1 there become minus 1 and then you move 4 there become divided by 4 so this is the root 0 and negative 1 over 4 okay so for this uh, x squared minus 9 equal to 0 so you can factorize this x plus 3 x minus 3 is a factorization answer and then so this is the first part this is the second part so the first part equals 0 and then put a comma the second part equal 0 and then move this to there plus 3 become negative 3 and then move minus 3 there become positive 3 so negative 3 and 3 are the roots here also the same thing 4x squared minus 25 you can make it this thing 
Okay, don't forget to write equal to zero. And then after factorize, you get this the first part and then also the second part. So the first part equal to zero, 2x plus 5 equals zero. And then the second part equal to zero. And then we move this and then you move 2. It will become negative 5 over 2. This will become 5 over 2. Okay, here also the same thing. The first part equal to 0 and then the second part equal to 0 and if you solve, you will get this. Okay, so the same thing for this. You just, after you factorize, equal to 0 and then the first part equal to 0, second part equal to 0 this one also same x minus 2 equal 0, x equal 2 0, x equal 6 Okay, and then this question also same thing, equals 0. So 2x plus 5 equals 0, x is minus 5 over 2. And then here, because this and this are the same, so we only have one root in this case. And thanks for watching.